match number seven from Cordick and Hall on Valentine's Day 2024 was the main event, a six-woman tag team match that saw May Soraya, Suzu Suzuki, and Julia take on Odeo Tai's Natsukatora, Momo Watanabe, and Starlight Kid. This match kicked off with Julia and Tora fighting at ringside. I, I don't know who attacked who. I didn't really catch it. But it was just before the bell rang, those two were all over the arena floor, into the chairs, choking each other, hitting each other with chairs, doing everything that they could. Their teammates spilled out and also joined in on this, but the camera really focused on Julia and Tora because this was a preview match of their upcoming match for Julia's strong women's title. And this was pretty good for what it was. I'm usually not a big fan of the hardcore, anything goes. And this wasn't, that wasn't the rules of this match, but it started that way before they finally got in the ring. But for some reason, they have captured me here. They're, this is their second prelude match, their second preview match. Um, Tora won one by extreme cheating. Uh, of course, Julie gets the win here, giving you the winner already. But um, along the way, it was very good. Julia and Tora's interactions were great. And let me tell you something, man. Uh, May Ray is just incredible. She can work any style. I mean, she's a high-speed champion. She is the high-speed champion. But she can work hardcore. She can work a grounded match. She can work high-flying. She is the total package. Suzu Suzuki gets all the hype, especially with um, Julia headed to WWE soon. First, making a pit stop in Rossi's new company to help him out. But let me tell you, and, and I'm not saying Suzu Suzuki doesn't deserve it. She's great. She's going to be an amazing one here going forward as well. Only like 21 years old. Uh, Soraya can't be that old, can she? I don't know how old she is, but she's super young. And she's incredible and looked incredible here. The weird thing is I didn't see Momo Watanabe do a whole lot in this match, especially the first five, six, seven minutes. I hardly knew she was there. When she got in, she did well. Used her bat twice, of course. Hit Julia with it once. But the second time she used it was where the end was coming. Um, she went to hit Julia with it again. Julia got out of the way, and she nailed Tora in the head and face with this bat. And that pretty much led to the ending, where um, Julia finished her off with, I, I believe it was a glorious driver. I think that's what she calls it. Uh, it's a Northern Lights bomb. And finish it, it finishes the match just, just shy of 15 minutes. Uh, very interesting, very good, very hard-hitting. It was believable. It felt like there's some legitimate heat, some legitimate hate between Julia and Natsuka Tora. And that's taking us right into the pay-per-view that I'll talk about next, as soon as I can. And their hardcore Anything Goes matchup for that strong title. Now that makes sense. That gimmick, that, that, the call to make the match Anything Goes makes sense after watching all these matches and their pure disgust and frustration and hatred toward each other, which played out excellently. In this match. Now, too bad Julia's leaving because her, Soraya, and Suzuki make an incredible threesome. I mean, Julia would go from Donna Del Mondo if she went into this group, if they called themselves something and formed a, a unit, they, it would be another incredible unit for Julia because those three are amazing together. Their personalities blend perfectly and they're all different. And I would love to see that, but unfortunately, if we do, it won't be for long as Julia's taken off to America here before long, around April or May or so. Who knows when we'll actually see her on TV, but good for her. Bad for stardom, bad for Rossi's company, but this is a great match. Uh, of course, like I said, Julia wins it, and great show. I really like this. I like this show better than I thought I would. I did not think I would not like it, but I really, really enjoyed this. I thought it was great stuff. I thought it was almost pay-per-view worthy. Maybe just shy of that, but, but very good. So thank you, Stardom, for another terrific show. Thank you, ladies, for all the work that you do. Thank you for wrestling done right. I am the Stardom Samurai. I might try to tweak my voice here. I, I don't want to use my voice. I want to sort of stay as anonymous as I can. I know there are people who know who the Stardom Samurai is, but the, the least people who know that, the better, in my opinion. Uh, I've just learned that the hard way. Um, so I might tweak the voice. Let me know what you think of it here if I do. And um, I'll be back again to cover the pay-per-view very, very soon. So look forward to that. I know I do. Please subscribe to the YouTube. Thank you for all who have done so. I'll talk to you again soon.